This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, verse 9. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus said Yahweh, power, come from the four winds, O breathe, and breathe upon this slain that they may live. I want to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Ruka Kodash, my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who have taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, laboring in the vine in these last days, making sure this truth can get to the four corners. Shalawam also to the few aquats, to the speckled beds, those who are sincerely seeking its truth. Shalom. So as I read earlier on, I'm going to read again. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 9. It quotes, Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy son of man. And this is the most High Yahweh speaking to the prophet Ezekiel, telling him to prophesy unto the wind. Okay. And literally, this is exactly what happens. You know, when you see these teachers going out to teach, the prophets are outside prophesying, you know, every Saturday, some on Sunday, some on different other days, you know. They're just out there teaching and, you know, literally they're actually prophesying to the wind. And the word prophesy means to say things before they happen. Now, let's go to the root word, Strong's. You know, the word comes from Naba. Naba. He says to prophesy. This is speak or sing by inspiration, in prediction, okay, or simple disc discourse. Prophesy, you know, to prophesy. So, as you can see, to predict things, but actually, the word itself means to say before. Pro comes from before. False means to say. So, it says it means to say before, to say things before they happen. So, as I was saying, these teachers are out there, you know, they're teaching, you know, things that are really important. The most important thing on this planet right now is this truth. But people walk around, they walk by, they don't stop. So literally, it seems like they are actually prophesying to the wind. Now, if you take a look at, um, for example, the teachings of the, uh, of the apostles when they go out every Saturday to teach, you know, it is kind of rare to see people stop by to listen, you know. So they are actually prophesying unto the wind. And this happens to me too and, you know, major part of the Akiams when I watch their videos, you know. They prophesy, they teach, you know, but people don't stop by. So they are actually prophesying to the wind, you know. And this is just what's going on in these last days, you know. People, people, and you see, there is something I noticed. I noticed that, you know, most especially Jake, they know that something is wrong. They know something huge is about to happen, but they are just scared to take that step to change. You know, many are comfortable in the lies. They don't want to know the truth, even if they know that what they are living is lies and they know there is a truth. But many are just scared to take that bold step to change, you know. And this is exactly what, you know, what Yashar Allah is, you know, sons of Israel. There is a scripture in the book of um, Isaiah, chapter 30. Verse 10, it quotes, now I'm going to read from verse 9, it says, This is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the, of Yahweh. Okay, now if you read from the beginning, you will see it's actually speaking about Israel, okay. Woe to the rebellious children, said Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me, 
and that cover with a covering but not of my spirit that they may add sin to sin that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh to trust in the shadow of Egypt and this is exactly what's going on you know the sons of Israel you know they 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 so trust the 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 um Egypt which Egypt here signifies the house of bondage you know but majorly it speaks of America you know but here it's actually representing the house of bondage bondage house of captivity where most of us are are you know so we believe in the system you know we prefer to go you know to to ask from the system and you know learn from the system rather than listening to the prophets you know teaching this truth you know so well that's not really the point i wanted to bring out the point now is you know this this is a rebellious people lying children children that will not hear the law of the lord yahweh and we know that the law was only given to the book of yashar allah that is israel so you know it's talking about israel which says to the seer here is the point which says to the seers see not and to the prophets prophesy not unto us right things speak unto us smooth things prophesy deceits you know the people of israel most of most especially when i'm teaching some some jakes you know trying to enlighten them about this truth you know what they say is you know men you sound a little too negative all the time must you always speak about you know stuffs like this why don't you speak of something else something positive and this is exactly what this scripture is actually speaking about you know and this thing is very very common lately when you come to certain jakes with the truth and you letting them know that hey this place is about to get destroyed this is what's going to happen this is what's going on they be like man you're always negative that's what they be like at least for me this is how i sound so most of the time i don't even i don't even bother myself to speak to people like i used to about this truth because you know when i go close to them with this truth it seems like I am going close to them with you know with a negative vibe and i don't want to i don't want to feel like i'm carrying a negative vibe when i know that what i carry is the most positive and powerful thing on this planet you know so this is exactly what's going on like we read earlier you know we prophesy to the wind you know we go out on the days that we choose during the week to go out to teach so when we teach you know people just walk by they don't stop by because you know they, 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 their ears are heavy the most tired has given them that spirit of sleeping you know they don't they don't want to listen to what's going to save them they rather prefer to just you know live in ignorance that they are already living you know so this is this is really this is really powerful and you know really really strange at the same time you know so i'm also going to read from the book of um ezekiel chapter 33 and from verse 30 no uh, verse 33 so now we are actually telling them what's about to come we're telling them not to take the waters you know we're telling them that there is a there is a third world war you know at the door about to 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 boss out you know we're telling them that you know the mark of the beast is just ready to to be to be to be um to be enforced you know we're telling them different all different things we're prophesying to these people you know but they whenever you go close to these people they tell you oh you're coming with a with a negative vibe you know but when you know all hell start to break loose then they're going to know that really you know people were already people were t telling them these things and those people were prophets and that's what i'm about to read here and when this comes to pass lo it will come then shall they know that a prophet had been among them okay so this is actually what the sons of israel are you know just like the book of isaiah isaiah 1 3 it says the, the ox knoweth his, his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. Ah, sinful nation, 
a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken Yahweh. They have provoked the Holy One of Yashar Allah unto anger. They are gone away backward. You know, this is exactly what's going on in Israel. Israel has actually become the wicked, you know, the most wicked, even as wicked, even more wicked than the wicked, who is the so-called white man. And for those who don't know, the sons of Israel are actually the so-called Negroes, the Native Americans, and the Latinos, you know. Then we have Israel spread around all the, all the nations that you have in this in this world. You have real seeds of the sons of Israel in their midst, you know, who have actually, you know, mixed with all these nations and they, they just become, they look like them, you know. So, you know, I hope this lesson um, was a define. I don't want to make it really long, you know. So this is just like an encouragement to those Akiams out there, you know, teaching this truth, you know. And most of the time when you go out, you don't see people stop, you know. It's actually, it's actually, it's, it's actually been written, you know, we're actually prophesying to the wind most of the time that we go out to teach, you know, and it's, it's the work that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai does, you know, if he wants to, if he wants this truth to get to anybody, he is going to make it get to anybody, because if Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai could make this truth get to me, that I'm in Italy, that I never knew anything about the Hebrew Israelites, you know, I have i had no absolutely no idea about what hebrew Israel, israelites was all about you know but yahaba hashem yahawa shai gave had this mercy upon me and it made me to know this truth so the most i can also make this truth to be known to anybody you know i've seen brothers in all different parts of the world brothers in finland brothers in um in australia brothers in um in nigeria africa in tanzania in bolivia you know in Barbados, you know, this truth is actually, it has actually spread to the four corners of the earth, you know, and there are lots of people who are not going out to teach, but they actually believe this truth, and I believe they might find favor um, from the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So, man, this is, you know, lots of prophecies are, are, are popping out, you know, so I don't really need to go into these prophecies as we see there are different bro brothers, even the elders and teachers, you know, they're all doing heavy videos, you know, regarding this, regarding this um, prophecies, you know. So, um, you know, keep strong and keep, you know, keep doing what you have to do because at the end of the day, we have to walk our our salvation with fear and trembling. You know, this is just what we have to do. Don't be depressed or don't be, don't be. How should I put the word? Don't 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 feel sad if you know people are not stopping by to listen to this truth. You know. So it's just the doing of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So his punishment can, can come on the two thirds of the house of Israel. So as I said, I hope this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Ruka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who have taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. It's the brother Yara Yara from the GMS Italia Camp. Shalom.